Hi everyone, welcome to Teacher Shirley channel. If this is your first time to come to my channel, or if you have come to my channel many times, but have you subscribed my channel, remember to click subscribe. Okay, for today, our title will be on Janice for Speaking Skill, page 74. The content standard for today learning is speaking 2.3, use appropriate communication strategies, learning standard speaking 2.3.1, keep interaction going in longer exchanges by checking understanding of what the speaker is saying. By the end of the lesson, pupils are able to give the different type of transport. Fill in the blanks based on the audio scripts. Talk about the ways they go to school. Can listen and repeat the different forms of transport. Which do you use the most? Okay, so listen and pronounce the word. Unit 7. Vocabulary and speaking. Transport. Exercise 1. Bicycle, motorbike, plane, ship, horse and carriage, coach, tram, lorry, yacht, caravan, the underground, helicopter, ferry, hot air balloon. Okay, so these are some of the common transport that we see on road, on sea, and on air. Okay, the first one is bicycle. Everyone knows what is bicycle, right? Motorbike, plane ship, horse and carriage, coach, coach is a bus, a luxury bus that you use to transfer from Kuala Lumpur to Johor or from Johor to Penang, that is a coach, tram, okay, tram is like a train, okay, but it move on road, lorry, yacht, caravan, okay, this is a caravan, the underground, okay, this is the underground, the train that moves the underground. Helicopter, ferry, hot air balloon. Okay, so these are some of the common transport. This is the underground, cruise, helicopter, a caravan. A caravan is like a mini house. Okay, now read and listen. Complete the sentences with words from exercise 1. Okay, so you need to fill in the blanks here with words from here. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's start now. Unit 7. Vocabulary and speaking. Transport. Exercise 2. 7 cool ways to get around. The Amish people don't use cars. They prefer to travel the old-fashioned way by horse and carriage. Lisbon is famous for its green form of public transport, the tram. The best way to see the Greek islands is by yacht. You get a great view of the Sahara Desert in a hot air balloon. These Irish travellers live in a caravan and take it with them wherever they go. In London, the quickest way to get around is on the underground, which is also called the tube. Chinese people like travelling by bicycle because it's cheap and healthy. 
Okay, so have you got the answers? Okay, let's discuss the words, the answers together. The Amish people don't use cars. They prefer to travel the old-fashioned way by. You can see a horse in the front. So the possible answer is horse and carriage. Better good. This bird is famous for its green form of public transport. Here you can see that it looks like a tram, but it moves on land. This is called as the tram. P R A M tram. The best way to see the Greek islands is by. Okay, this is a yacht. You get a great view of the Sahara Desert in the. Okay, this one is a hot air balloon. These Irish travellers live in a caravan and take it with them wherever they go. Okay, so this is a caravan. In London, the quickest way to get around is on the underground, which is also called the tube. Chinese people like travelling by, you can see in the picture, they like to travel by bicycle because it's cheap and healthy. Okay, I believe everyone get the answer right. Okay, so this is the answers. Horse and carriage, kereta kuda, tram, it's like a tram but it move on land. Yacht, tapalaya, hot air balloon, caravan. Okay, so in caravan is famous in Australia and New Zealand. Okay, and it's used like a mini house, you have toilets, you have bed, uh, you have bed in a caravan. Okay, the underground, and the last one is a bicycle. Okay, so these are the answers. Okay, for exercise three, answer the question based on the words, based on the transport in exercise one. Which form of forms of transport carries large heavy things from one place to another? Carries large heavy things from one place to another. Okay, so the answer is lorry. Basam Layu is also lorry. Transport people by air in an emergency. This one is a helicopter. It's a fast, noisy vehicle for one or two people. Motorbike. Carry people and cars on short journeys across the sea. Fair. And the last one, catch large group of passengers on long journeys by road. Okay, this is a coach. Okay, number four, which form of transport do you use in these situations? Write sentences. I go to school by bicycle. Okay, I go shopping by, maybe by car. I go to the beach by car. I visit my friends using motorcycle, using motorbike or on foot. Go on holiday. I go on holiday on aeroplane. Okay, so there are different forms of transport that you can use for different purposes. Okay, for exercise 5, what impacts ask and answer questions about the different forms of transport you use. Okay, you can ask your friend, how do you go to school? I go to school by bicycle. I go to school on foot. Okay, so there are the examples, simple answers that you can get. Okay, so that's the end of our lesson today. Okay, so that's the end. Remember to click subscribe to get more videos from me. Bye. See you again.